afternoon. Some call it fate, I call it God, but whatever it was though, I was obviously destined to meet Murray. Um, Murray and I both attended an online course in the fall at Ulster. Um, we had never met face to face or seen a photograph of each other. That's the website for you, I guess. But um, our first assignment was to introduce ourselves and Marie wrote about her family and about awareness. So I responded um, and told her that I was really interested in her program. And um, in the meantime, I'd been hearing a lot about Zephyr's PSA. It was on a radio station that I listened to a lot. So um, I work at the tea shop in Woodstock and one day Marie strolled in and um, she was selling Christmas wreaths. So I kind of knew right away who she was, and we took a liking to each other right away. I'll shorten up the conversation for you because when we get talking, it doesn't end. So um, <laughs> she explained awareness in detail, and <coughs> the first week of February, I started volunteering with her. Um, my past is nothing short of a blessing. I've been sober for two and a half years, and um, I'll tell you right away when I met Brian, he really needed help. So. Um, I knew the, the kind of help that he needed because I had been there once before. And um, I just spoke with him at the college program here and he kind of opened up to me a little bit. Um, but he was not ready at all to go into a program. He was in complete denial that he needed as much help as Marie and I both saw. So um, Marie was struggling with Brian a lot though because the judge had told her that he, he needed to be better right away or um, he needed to go back to jail. So Marie had gotten to know Brian pretty deeply and she wasn't going to let him go, go back to jail, but she didn't want to jeopardize her program as you have kind of spoken of earlier. So um, I knew of a men's program called TLC, which was a faith-based program. And I had gone to a similar one for six months, two and a half years ago. So. Um, we planned a field trip to the program, and another boy in the program attended with us, and the coordinator of TLC sat us all down and talked to Brian about what addiction was, how it's triggered, all kinds of stuff like that. And some of the key points that he spoke about um, broke down Zep um, Brian's walls. So at the end of the meeting with Eric, the coordinator at TLC, um, Marie gave Brian an ultimatum, an ultimatum. She said, you can either go back to jail or go get help with this program that we've offered you. So Brian, he didn't like his options, but he had them. And he decided to enter TLC on his own voluntarily. And um, he's been in there a month. I stay in contact with him through letters. Marie does as well. And um, he's doing really, really well and he's going to be finished in five months and is extremely thrilled about coming and volunteering and helping out and giving back what Marie had given to him. And um, oftentimes I think that the government, sometimes they're left with no choice or they want justice to be served, so they um, convict people according to their crimes. And sometimes that's appropriate. But um, other times it takes compassionate people like Marie to overcome the um, cyclical conundrum of drug abuse and alcohol use. So thank you.